the next 15 minutes is going to make you realize that whatever is required to crack prelims 2025 you already have with yourself guys in this video i am going to give you the exact sources from the standard books from where upsc prelims 2024 was prepared guys most of the students who struggled to crack the prelims examination even after years of hard work these are those students they fail to master the standard sources and they keep looking for new sources and the current affairs guys in my experience of cracking the upsc prelims examination 6 out of 6 times and scoring 30 to 40 marks more than the cut off i can tell you that mastery over standard sources which is the static syllabus is key to scoring high marks in the upsc prelims examination if you fail to master standard sources you will never crack the prelims examination guys in this video i am going to give you exactly from where these questions were picked and this is very very important because when you prepare for prelims 2025 you have to strategically allocate your time and you have to understand which are those standard sources from where upsc question setters are directly framing the questions so guys what i will do first i will take 2 3 minutes to do an overall analysis of prelims 2024 paper and then in this video i'm going to give you exact sources you will be shocked i can tell you guys after you watch this video you will not require any other analysis video okay guys so let us start so guys prelims 2024 questions what i have done is that i have divided prelims 2024 questions into four different types of questions questions which were directly taken from static books here by static books i mean ncerts and standard books one standard book for every subject for polity it is lakshmikant for history it is spectrum like this okay then there were questions which were directly taken from the pyqs okay then there were few questions which can directly be solved using elimination techniques if you have mastered all the elimination techniques which i have given you okay so i have given you okay lot of techniques okay if you master them then you can solve many questions in prelims 2024 without any knowledge i repeat without any knowledge and last there were many questions which were purely current affairs oriented questions guys the mistake what aspirants do is that they do not realize that the questions which were directly taken from the static books are easy to solve why because we have limited number of static books and we have once we master this limited number of static books we have very high accuracy rate in such questions on the other hand guys current affairs is unlimited every day it is expanding every day new current affairs is coming and guys the accuracy rate in current affairs is also very low because it is very difficult for any candidate to master current affairs further guys these two sources question which is the pyq sources and elimination techniques here also guys there are limited techniques if you master all these limited techniques and then you practice a lot of questions then guys easily your accuracy rate in such questions can be increased and obviously pyqs if you have solved the pyqs if you analyze the pyqs properly obviously if questions are motivated directly from the pyqs here also the accuracy rate will be very high if you have mastered the pyq of last 20 30 years so because guys if you see here these are what limited sources these are what limited sources see limited sources can be mastered you can only gain mastery over limited sources it is impossible to get mastery over current affairs guys you must have seen there are many aspirants who crack the prelims examination who crack the mains examination who even get ranks but they fail to crack prelims examination next year why because maybe next year they did not read current affairs and current affairs is changing if you do not read current affairs in the new year maybe you have cracked prelims in the last year you may not be able to solve the current affairs question of next year so current affairs is very dynamic unlimited and here you need to put a lot of effort i am not saying that current affairs are not important guys around 50 questions were directly from the current affairs in prelims 2024 also but here the agenda of this video is to make you realize if your static segment if your static segment and the pyqs and elimination techniques are strong 
you can easily solve 55 to 60 questions let me show you guys i have done an analysis and guys as per the analysis guys in geography geography questions 15 questions were directly taken from the ncrt i'm going to show you exact proof directly from the ncrt only two books directly so guys obviously guys if you read few number books here there are limited books 10 books okay my maybe 10 books okay but here there are unlimited magazines okay 12 months 15 months it is unlimited okay so you can see 15 questions were directly from the ncrt then in history four questions were directly from the ncrt then from polity 12 questions were directly from the lakshmi kant then environment two questions were directly from the ncrt then in economy three questions were directly from the ncrt then guys ir and science and tech mostly they are current oriented so here we did not had any ncrt questions so 35 questions were directly from the ncrt 35 can you imagine 3 5 35 questions were directly from the ncrt then guys from the pyqs and elimination method so what i have done i have added pyq and elimination method together i am talking about direct pyq and elimination okay indirectly if you see the this number can increase okay there were around 20 questions which were directly either from the N PYQ or from the elimination techniques. So you can see here two questions in his geography, three questions in history, one question in polity, three question in environment, three question in economy, four question in IR, five questions in science and tech. So if you add this, okay, here again I'm saying elimination technique and PYQ, I'm saying these are direct, direct, no application of much intelligence directly you can see and you can mark it if we add indirect elimination techniques it can rise it easily to at least 30 to 35 questions okay but directly i'm talking about so you can add 35 plus 20 it's how much 55 questions 55 questions were direct from the ncrt's pyqs and elimination techniques imagine the cutoff was around 95 marks maximum i'm talking about max cutoff last year was 95 marks so just by ncrt sources and standard sources like lakshmi kant spectrum and doing pyq analysis of last 20 years and mastering the elimination techniques which i have taught guys all the techniques i have uploaded subject wise techniques i have uploaded in my portal you can watch it you could have code 55 questions 55 questions means more than 100 marks the cutoff was 95 and here i have not even included any current affairs if i include lot of current affairs are very easy ones lot of current affairs are very easy ones if you see you can mark it okay i'm not including that i will do a current affair analysis in a separate video the agenda of this video is to make you realize that more than 50% of the paper could have been easily solved if you have mastered the NCRT and standard sources and the PYQs and elimination techniques. Why I am differentiating these two segments with this segment? Why? Because guys, current affairs, again I say, it is unlimited. It is changing. It is dynamic. It is difficult to master. It is difficult to master, but this you can master. Anyone can master this first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt, anyone can master this. The thing is that he should have the right strategy and he should have right perspective how to utilize their time. Most of the students, they fail to master PYQs. Most of the students, they fail to master animation techniques. Most of the students, they fail to master NCRTs. They may think that yes, they have done NCRTs, but they have not done the fine readings of the NCRT reading between the lines and today in this video i am going to prove you this so guys i am going to make five volumes of this lecture this is the first lecture in this lecture i will be taking up the geography theme i will be explaining you how these 15 questions you could have easily solved again i repeat easily solved and you will today understand how upsc is so easy exam prelims is so easy exam if you have the right strategy and I'm saying it with a lot of responsibility that yes, prelims exam is very easy if you have the right strategy because I myself have done it. I have scored more than 30 to 35 marks more than the cutoff. So I have proved myself. And today after watching this video, you will get that confidence that you can also do it.
so let us start so guys you can see the first question total fertility rate in an economy is defined as you can see here directly from the ncrt democratic structure of indian society which is the ncrt book this is an ncrt book you can see fertility rate total fertility rate refers to the total number of live births that a hypothetical woman would have if she has lived through the reproductive age exactly the same question same answer okay directly from the ncrt direct i will only give you direct sources there are many videos you will see okay they'll say okay do it from here do it from there no exact word to word i will show exact question from the ncrt and i have a logic also i will tell you why this question this year that is most important because see ncrts are there obviously p question people may say that sir we know that questions will come from the standard sources what is rocket science in that yes there is a rocket science in that and that rocket science is why this question in this year only why this year the reason is guys let me just show you india overtakes china as the world's most populous country this is a news from the united nation site you can see 24th april 2023 means last year 2023 okay india overtook china as the most populous country obviously guys what leads to population explosion it is the fertility rate it is the fertility rate and that was asked in the prelims examination because there is a lot of controversy happening in india that the southern states they have lower fertility and the northern states they have higher fertility so whatever population explosion we are seeing is coming from some states from the northern states okay so you have to understand the logic why this question was asked many people will say okay you may come across many videos they will show yeah this question came from the ncrt or that question came from the ncrt but what was the logic why this year why not in 2021 why not in 2020 why only in 2024 because in 2024 in just in in that 2023 year entire year india overtook china and population is coming from fertility and that was asked in the prelims examination next question guys consider the following italy japan nigeria south korea and south africa which of the following countries aging population directly from the ncrt declining population aging population you can see aging population you can see here in most of the developed countries of the world population is higher age groups is increased due to increased life expectancy with a reduction in birth rate the proportion of children in population has declined direct from the ncrt developed countries have aging population developed countries have low birth rate exact word to word sir what else you need what else you need tell me the thing is that you do not want to have the right strategy you just want to wander here and there and waste your time if you have the right strategy if you have the right sources guys i can tell you even god cannot stop you from cracking the prelims examination i'm making a big statement here and i am making it very responsibly because i cracked it 6 out of 6 times i can tell you if you have the right strategy because god also wants you to have the right strategy see what is in our life result is outcome of our actions lord krishna has said if your actions are right you need not fear god even if i am doing the right action if i am working hard if i am mastering the standard sources if i am analyzing the recent year pyqs and if i am working very hard honest if i am honest in my approach i should not fear god also why should i fear god because god says what if you do the right action you will get the results and this is the right action mastering the standard sources many students they just run after here there and they are wasting their attempts guys let me tell you prelims is very very important if you are missing prelims one attempt also if i am missing prelims you are missing your rank because guys if you see in upsc most of the aspirants they improve with every attempt so the 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 early you get into mains that is better for you the higher the chances that you will get something out of this journey the late you come into the mains means the the years you waste in the prelims 3 4 years the less chances you get a rank here okay you can see directly now let us proceed guys you can see this question you can see this question guys the atmosphere heated from incoming radiation then by terrestrial radiation you can see here directly from the ncrt fundamentals of physical geography 
the atmosphere is indirectly heated by the terrestrial radiation from below exactly guys what else you want the keywords are also same the keywords are also same and then most of the students sir i could not get through prelims but i have read ncrts guys you have not read the ncrts how to read the ncrts today i'm going to show you that is the right way of reading the ncrts today i'm going to show you guys and more than that guys this question was directly taken from the pyq i told you na i'm going to show you the pyqs also i'm going to show you the pyqs also where questions are being framed okay so if you master the standard source and the pyqs you can see direct question you can see direct question temperature decreases with increase in height why you can see atmosphere is heated upwards only from the earth surface exact from the pyqs and guys this question i framed in my ncert test you can see physical geography ncert 1001 ncert test optimize is courses dot learn you can see here dot com slash learn exactly you can see here i have framed the question guys why why i am able to predict the question because what i do is that i analyze the pyqs and after i analyze the pyqs i see the sources in the ncrts and then i frame the questions that is why i am able to predict the questions most people are saying sir how your questions are directly coming in the exam you can see for yourself this question directly i predicted you can see here because i am making each and every word of the ncert which are relevant for the exam i am framing questions on them directly you can taken from the ncert test okay next you see thickness of troposphere at equator is much greater than at the poles directly you can see thickness of troposphere is greatest at the equator because of heat is transported to greater heights by strong convective currents direct from the ncerts and this question also guys you can see i had asked direct question came in the exam thickness of the troposphere in the higher equator at higher equator than poles it is due to convective activities exact question you can see i predicted the exact questions and format is also same can you imagine ncert test optimize is courses.com format is also same i'm just waiting here i'll wait for one minute so that you can take a glimpse of this don't you think this is now people will say sir how can exact word you are predicting guys this is what is understanding the trend of exam once you understand the trend of exam directly you can predict you can also predict for yourself next question guys you can see this question consider the following pyroclastic debris ash nitrogen sulfur you can see guys this is directly from the ncert fundamentals of geography you can see here guys the lava includes what pyroclastic debris pyroclastic debris okay then you can see sulfur compounds sulfur compounds nitrogen compounds nitrogen compounds ash and dust ash and dust what else you want guys exact courses from exact questions from the ncerts and this question was also i predicted you can see here exact question i predicted in my test 1005 geography advanced test that is the reason guys see just reading you may not understand what is important but when you solve questions when you solve ncert questions properly and when you make notes out of it then you will understand see many students you know what feedback they have given after taking my ncert test sir after i took ncert test i actually came to know how to read the ncerts because how to read the ncerts you may see you may think okay what is there what is there big thing i have read the ncerts then why are you not able to solve questions in the upsc prelims examination if you have read the ncerts the thing is guys just reading will not do because when you read na you read passively when you read you read passively but when you solve questions then you start engaging with the content guys you have to increase your engagement level with the content how can you increase engagement level with the content when you solve these questions when you solve these questions and when you will not be able to solve these questions then your engagement level will increase and that is what is required for the upsc prelims examination you see every question guys okay so i'll just tell you that in prelims 2025 also i am going to predict lot of questions guys 
in my mentorship batch this is my telegram number you can contact me okay so let us come back to you, you can see here in my lux i am giving you ncrt test advanced test monthly current affairs test then optima which is the predicted question along with the csat test also i am giving you current affairs classes also current affairs classes also i am giving you let us come back to the next question guys you can see this question with reference to himalayan rivers joining ganga downstream you can see here west to east you have to arrange you can see exact question from the ncrt exact question from the ncrt you can see here these are all ncrts these are all ncrts and let me tell you guys this question was a pyq also 20 years before 2004 i think this was a direct pyq question you can see here ghagra gomti gandak koshi direct taken from here left bank tributaries next question guys you can see waterfalls region river exactly this also taken from the ncrts you can see here garsopa falls garsopa falls exactly from the ncrts this is indian geography indian physical geography and this question i had predicted in my test series also you can see full length test dhuandar falls dhuandar falls that is why guys practicing question is very very important and reading the right sources is very very important next question guys which of the following is or are inferences from isotherm maps exactly you can take this directly taken from the ncrt you can see north atlantic ocean exactly exact questions i'm stopping i'm going slow because you can take screenshot if you want to take screenshot you can take the screenshot and this question also i predicted you can see here isotherm question in my test series you can see ncrt 001 physical geography test optimize is.com okay courses.com direct question so when i say i predicted many questions in the prelims examination i just did what i just analyzed the ncrts and i just covered all the important questions which can be framed from the ncrts and i gave you in my ncrt test prediction means i'm not sitting here and predicting future obviously guys future no one can predict what i am doing is that i am analyzing the pyqs and as per the pyq analysis i am reading fine lines in the ncrts and then i am framing ncrt questions in my ncrt test that is what prediction is all about guys just imagine if you read the ncrt properly and if you solve all possible questions which can be framed from the ncrt obviously you will be able to predict any question which comes from the ncrt are you getting this logic or not that is why solving questions engage with the question then you will understand okay this sig is also very important because if you just read passively you may just leave it okay it is not that important but when you solve okay this question sir has asked again this is important again you can see this question cocoa producers direct from ncrt you can see the french established cocoa in west africa direct from the ncrt direct from the ncrt west africa what else guys what else plantation agriculture it is human geography book ncrt human geography book french cocoa and coffee in west africa west africa means cote d'ivoire and ghana if you have seen the west african map okay and this question i had predicted in my optimize is website also you can see here exactly this question i had predicted ghana and ivory coast next question guys rainfall is one of the reasons for weathering again directly taken from the ncrt and this is there in my ncrt physical geography test also directly i have given this question in my test series also you can see directly taken from the ncrt this is ncrt physical geography fundamentals of physical geography okay so what i want to tell you is that the thing is that you have to master the ncrts you have to master it the here word i am using is master just reading will not do passive reading is not going to help you guys 
passive reading is not going to help you what you need is mastery mastery of ncrts how to master ncrts solve as many questions high quality questions which are framed on the ncrt pattern okay so you can see directly i had asked explained completely what is the weathering process what is the weathering process i had ex uh, uh, like i explained you can see here okay next guys you can see this question again region name of mountain type of mountain directly i had predicted this how i was able to predict this many people say okay sir why how you predicted the same questions okay you can see here why because guys you can see here this is also taken from the ncrt this is also taken from the ncrt okay where is it i'll just show you yes you can see block mountains you can see here block mountains directly it is given in the ncrt okay next you can see here all the types of mountain fold mountains block mountains and volcanic mountains they have given here they have given here if you have gone through this you can see rhine valley and vosges so guys you can see that is why i framed a question on this okay in my test series let me just show you the test series question this was the test series question again from the ncrt then guys water vapor what to what taken from the ncrt with reference to water vapor which of the following statement is or are correct it is a gas amount decreased with altitude question you can see this ncrt question at the back of the chapter why does the amount of water vapor decrease with altitude you see guys why i will not say that upsc prelims is easy you would only tell me if you read in the right manner if you read in the right strategy with the right strategy and that is why i was able to predict this question also you can see this question test number 1001 physical geography question next you can see climate types question this table i give to all my prelims mentorship students you can see this question was directly again taken from the ncrt climate types wording is also same precipitation occurs throughout the year precipitation occurs throughout the year precipitation varies 52 to 250 cm precipitation varies 52 to 250 cm what else what else you want sir wording also they are picking directly from the ncrt they are not changing the wordings also next question coriolis forces directly you can see again physical geography fundamentals of physical geography i think you know more than 10 questions came from fundamentals of physical geography this book and lakshmikant book was the most important book for prelims 2024 you have to master these two books you can see glossary coriolis force ncrt and guys this i had given in my prelims notes also you can see here i'm just giving i'm not including all this prelims note i'm just giving ncrt this i have predicted in the youtube also you can see coriolis force i had predicted you can see here is with santosh next june 21 directly taken from the ncrt you can see here this question direct so guys as i was telling you that all the ncrt test you can see 10 ncrt test all the ncrt books you can solve using this 10 ncrt test a must for all the sincere aspirants who are basically aiming for upsc prelims examination guys it is a must solve all the ncrt and advanced book advanced book test is also on like the standard sources like in geography the standard sources which i have referred is basically gc leong okay for lakshmikant like for polity spectrum for history have covered so solve these questions guys these tests are very important you see yourself all the questions of the geography all questions of geography were either from the ncrt or from the pyq okay and mostly from the ncrt if you have left pyq also if you have done ncrt test properly you could have solved them that is why you can see 15 means 30 marks you could have scored here only see cut off was around 90 30 marks one third you are getting just by reading one book or solving two three test guys do not miss this opportunity 
still you have six months there is no excuse that you will not clear the prelims examination there is no excuse if you prepare in the right manner if you master the standard sources if you solve the ncrt tests properly now is the time six months are remaining exactly six months are remaining today is 25th of november your exam i guess is on 25th of may six months exact six months commit yourself to excellence commit yourself to success and guys no force on earth again can stop you again i'm saying if you do the right thing you need not fear god also if you do the right thing if you are studying the standard sources if you are studying ncrt if you are solving questions on ncrt just ask yourself why will you not qualify if you are studying the standard sources properly if you are solving high quality questions you see high quality questions why i say high quality question because you see direct the wording also question is same guys that is why i say high quality you can see this question the wording is also same what came in exam and what i have given wordings is also same that is why i say this is the highest quality test which is available with this guys thank you please consider liking this video and sharing this with your friends bye bye take care and god bless